which is be happy, be brave, be drug free. So the 2020 theme is be happy, be brave, be drug free. We know that these are important things to do in order to live a happy and healthy life. So today, boys and girls, we're going to ask you to participate in our Red Ribbon Week pledge. A pledge is something that you're saying you're going to do and you're going to not only do it this week, but remember this when you're an adult, remember this when you're a teenager, remember to make good choices in order to live a happy and healthy life. So you're going to repeat after me. You ready? Here we go. We're going to start off with our Red Ribbon Week pledge. I pledge to live a drug-free life. I pledge to help my family and friends be drug-free. I pledge to set a good example. I pledge to respect my body and my mind. So boys and girls, in honor of Red Ribbon Week, we have a lot of fun activities for you this week. So we can move on to the next slide. Thank you, Mr. Martinez. So here we go. This week, we're gonna participate in a lot of activities to remind us to live a happy, healthy life. So here we go. Starting today, we did our pledge. Tomorrow, Tuesday is love yourself. So we're gonna be wearing red, similar to what Ms. Marcosian is wearing. You see, she's, she's ready. She's ready for tomorrow. On Wednesday, it's I'm on a drug-free team. Wear your favorite sports gear. Maybe you want to help our Dodgers to win, right? You maybe you want to wear your Dodgers jersey or any other team that you like. On Thursday is put a cap on drugs. Wear a hat. And let, once again, maybe you want to wear your Dodger hat, right? And then finally on Friday, it's spook out drugs. Wear your costume. You can wear your costume to your Zoom class. So we will be sharing this information with your teachers. Maybe we can post it on our website as well so that you guys can remember what we're going to be doing each day. We encourage you to participate and once again, to be healthy, happy, and be drug free. Thank you, boys and girls. And that brings us to our next part of our presentation this morning, and that is character counts. Now, boys and girls, uh, the Red Ribbon Week ties in perfectly with um, our pillar for this month, which is um, respect. And when we talk about respect, boys and girls, we usually think about respecting others and those around us, which is part of being respectful. But this week we wanna focus on respecting yourselves and respecting ourselves because we, are also, we also matter. And so one of the things to remember is you treat others and yourself with respect. You also use kind words towards others, like thank you, please, and you're welcome. That's being respectful. But you also have to remember not to use hurtful words towards yourself. Use kind words to yourself as well. Be considerate with words and actions. Think about how others might feel. Be tolerant and accept differences. And also be appropriate. Respect personal space. Practice good social etiquette. Deal peacefully with anger and disagreements because boys and girls, that's what you would want also. Whenever there's a situation when you don't agree with someone, you want somebody to respect you as well. So when you respect others, you're also respecting yourself. And uh, we also want to remember that when we respect ourselves, we respect ourselves also when we are being digital citizens. We show self-respect on the internet the following ways. We don't say negative things about yourselves. Um, for example, you don't say, oh, I'm such a dork, or forget what I said, or that was dumb. We don't use that kind of language towards ourselves because that would not be respecting ourselves, boys and girls. Also, don't allow others to say negative or disrespectful, disrespectful things about you. You can say to them, excuse me, that was hurtful what you just said. Uh, you show others you respect yourself by taking care of yourself and you use appropriate language. You post appropriate pictures and be respectful to others. So always remember that boys and girls that whenever you are communicating with others through the internet, you are communicating with real people and you are putting out real messages and you wanna make sure that whatever message you put out there, it's respectful towards others and yourself because you matter as well. I will now hand it over to Ms. Marcosian. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Martinez. Just like we have been saying this entire month, we do wanna be respectful to others, but we also have to remember to respect ourselves. And what is, let's go ahead and move on to the next slide and look at how respecting ourselves, or in this case, when you respect, when we respect myself, what it looks like, what it feels like, and what it sounds like. Someone who respects themselves, the way that they feel, uh, look is they're prepared for class and learning. It's important for them to be prepared. They seek help when needed. They know that if they want help, they are entitled to ask for help. They take care of their personal belongings, their school materials, and the classroom. That's what it looks like when you respect yourself. Now, how do you feel when you are respecting yourself? You feel proud and confident. When you do well, you feel good, and you know that it's okay to feel good and proud of your accomplishments. You feel happy and hopeful. You think about how your words and actions make you and others feel. And what does uh, it sound like when somebody is respecting themselves? They speak up for themselves appropriately. If you're in the classroom and you feel like maybe your teacher didn't hear you, you can say, teacher, what I meant to say is, or teacher, I've been trying to say that my homework is um, not complete, but I will complete it. But speak up for yourself. Speak with good purpose about yourself and others. And tell yourself it's okay to make mistakes as long as you put best effort. We all make mistakes, boys and girls. We all fumble sometimes and it's okay. As long as you tell yourself, hey, I did my best, I put my best effort, and I'm just gonna try again. And use manners and appropriate language because somebody who does not respect themselves, they, they don't use respectful language either about themselves or other people, okay? And just to sum it up, it sounds like somebody who respects themselves is a scholar right? Okay, so today's story, boys and girls, uh, today we are going to be reading a story uh, called, it's Remarkably called Remarkably you. you by Pat Zitlow Miller, and the author wrote this story to encourage all readers to remember how to be remarkable, believe in themselves and what they do, and not change to be like anyone else. Remember, boys and girls, it's okay to be different. Everyone can be remarkable in their own ways. So let's go ahead and hear our story for today. Remarkably You, written by Pat Zillow Miller, illustrated by Patrice Barton. You might be bold. You might be loud. Leading parades, drawing a crowd. You might be timid, you might be shy, quietly watching your neighbors go by. You might be small, one tiny sprout, learning new things when you're out and about. You might be big, practically grown, coming and going with friends of your own. No matter your volume, your age, or your size, you have the power to be a surprise. You have the know-how. You're savvy and smart. You could change the world. Are you willing to start? Don't sit on the sidelines. Be part of the fray. Go after your passions a little each day. Find what needs fixing. Repair what you can. Then choose a new problem and do it again. Perhaps you're uncertain, not sure what to do. Just look for the moment that lets you be you. Like, maybe you're funny, or bookish, or fast. Or maybe you're always decidedly last. Perhaps you like counting, or drawing all day, or finding invisible dragons to slay. You have your own spirit, unparalleled flair. So rock what you got every day, everywhere. Perhaps you wonder, or wander, or sing. The world needs your voice, 
and the gifts that you bring. You can make a difference in big ways or small. You won't know how much till you give it your all. So find what you're good at, what you have to give. Then go share your sunshine wherever you live. You might be a helper who's first on the scene, a speller, a builder, a rope jumping queen, a swimmer who knits, a cellist who cheers, a mutt loving cat cuddler who volunteers. You are a blessing, a promise, a prize. You're capable, caring, courageous, and wise. You might go unnoticed or shine like a star. But wherever you go and whoever you are, don't change how you act to be just like the rest. Believe in yourself and the things you do best. So whether you're daring or careful or kind, embrace who you are, the way that you're designed. Dream your own dreams, hear your own heart. You could change the world. You just have to start. Follow your path. Do what you love to do. Be completely, uniquely, remarkably you. The end. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the other videos. Have a great day. Bye bye. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. As I was watching it, I saw many of you in that book. And it brings me a lot of joy to see that many of you are so different and you're so re remarkable in your own way. So don't change who you are, okay? So with that said, did you know our Kittredge Tale submission is due tomorrow? Now think about it. I know some of you have been thinking about sending me your stories, your writing, your sketches. So if you haven't had a chance to put it together, give yourself today and tomorrow Put your writing or your story or your review together and send it my way. I want to include your thoughts, your con contribution into our Kittredge Tales for tomorrow. Okay, I will have it ready to share with all of you at the end of the month. Remember, you can submit an article about what's happening. You can give me an opinion piece. Perhaps you have an opinion about that Dodger game number four. Maybe you've been writing a poem or have been sketching an art piece. Maybe you have a favorite recipe or wrote your own fictional story. Maybe you have tips on how to be respectful. It's open. Whatever you want to contribute, we'd love to see it. Thank you. And then let's talk about announcements. We're almost at the end of the month. Uh, again, our October is Filipino American History Month. Uh, we are talking about the contributions of Filipino Americans, especially this year in the healthcare industry. Um, Kittredge Tales is due tomorrow. And then we have a very fun day planned for you on Friday. So I'll turn it over to Mr. Martinez to tell us what that is. Thank you, Ms. Marcosi. And that's right, boys and girls, there is a very special event happening on Friday that's school-wide and it's going to be virtual. And that is our virtual costume dance party happening this Friday. Boys and girls, we've had our dance parties before uh, through Zoom and we've had such a great time. You have said to us that you've enjoyed them. You've told your teachers how much you love to be able to dance with your friends and have a good time. So guess what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it again this Friday on October 30th. We're going to have our dance party. So uh, boys and girls, if you are in ETK, TK, kinder, first and second, you're going to be joining me from 1 to 125. And third grade to fifth grade, you're going to be joining me from 130 to 155. Our virtual costume party is through Zoom. And here is the number, which will also be on our website. The Zoom number, if you want to write it down right now, it's 913-3518-6806 with the password party. And we, like I said, we will be letting your teachers know about this number and you can get it from your teacher and you can get it also on our website. Join our Zoom party this Friday. Um, now, boys and girls, I do want to remind you that we do want to have fun and the best way to have fun and be respectful Kittredge Kangaroos, which we are all working towards, 
is by our cowboys leaving their guns to the side, pirates for going their swords, and Jedis, please leave your lightsabers for another day. We want to make sure to remember that we are here to just have a great time and dance, dance, dance. And with that, we want to wish you all a great week of learning, and we hope you have a wonderful uh, first start of your week. And uh, do we have any more announcements? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm going to start. Uh, boys and girls, um, if you can hear me, this is Mr. Jimenez. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, your parents uh, were notified by your teachers that we might return to school anytime soon, maybe end of November. But part of that is everyone has to be tested for COVID. So we have a poll here. And if uh, your parents have already taken you to get tested, you can fill out this poll. And if they haven't, you can also fill out this poll. So it's a yes if you have. And it's a no if you have it. And panelists, you can also take the poll. Let me see. This is the first time we're trying this. So let's see what happens. Okay. Do you guys see the poll? Okay. I see a bunch of yeses. I see some no's. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're about 22%, 21%, yes, 80% no. We're almost there, we got about 100, we got some more to go. Got another 100 of you to take the poll. All right, we, got, we need another about another 40, 30% of you to vote. Did it automatically come up, Mr. Martinez, or? or yes, I, I see the up? poll already coming up. Okay. But on your end, did it automatically pop up? But they don't have to go down to the poll, right? All right no, we it should pop 20, up automatically. If yeah, 25 percent of you, it's either a yes or a no. If you went to Madison, they, they use the, the no swab. That's where I went. I went to Madison. Okay, we're almost there. So it looks like the way the numbers are looking is it's uh, one out of every five students have, has been tested. So when we open up and if you're coming back, only one in five of you will be able to come back. So you still have time. Uh, I'm gonna sh this to you. I think we're done, right? Are we done with this poll? Looks like everyone stopped. All right, I'm gonna show you boys and girls because sometimes you, you guys are so intelligent, you guys can help your parents out with this. So I'm gonna go to my internet. Let's see here. Where are you guys? I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. Boys and girls, okay. All right, you guys see the website? Yes? Okay, boys and girls, this is our Kittredge website. And if you see right here where it says student COVID testing, pruebas de COVID-19 gratis, that means they're free. So if you if you wanna go, let's say you go to your internet, on your, if you just type in Kittredge on Google, Kittredge Elementary School, just type Kittredge, you'll see right here where it says LA, LAUSD School Loop, that's our website. If I click on it, there it is, it takes you to our website. And if you want, here's our calendar. See, it says morning assembly. If you go to our school, you can see things on, about our school. Let me take you back. But for your parents, there's a parent resource button right here. If you click on that, it gives, it helps your parents with all the information in here. It has your COVID testing right here. So here's the letter for COVID, right? And Sometimes you might be able to be the, the one that has to help your parents. And it says, please schedule an appointment beginning on April 9th for your child at, and so you just click on this link right here, it'll, and then you guys can schedule an appointment with your parents. 